Crispy on the outside, creamy on the inside, these chicken croquets are a must-try appetizer. Hi, and you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit on that bell icon, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. To a heated skillet, we're going to add about two tablespoons of oil. To that, we're going to add one medium finely diced onion, which is approximately a cup. We're going to saute this a bit till the onions get a little translucent. The onions are just beginning to look translucent, so let's add in the garlic. We're adding four cloves of finely diced garlic. Just giving that a quick saute. When sorting, I always like to add the garlic after the onions because that prevents the garlic from burning. Okay, to that, for a little bit of cake, we're going to add one green chili, which I finely diced, and two red chilies, which I've also finely diced, and one I have de-seeded. Now, this is more for the color. If you wanted, you could go in with all green chilies also. Now, let's saute this for a little while. Now, to make a little bit of a roux, we're going to go in with three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and half a cup of chicken stock. I'm just going to mix this up quickly. For this recipe, I boiled two chicken breasts and the weight is approximately 500 grams and I'm going to shred it. You could use any part of the chicken that you like. And I've shredded the chicken and we're going to add it to the roux. And let's give this a mix and bring it together. You could even use roast chicken if you wanted. And I will leave the link of my roast chicken recipe in the description box below. The chicken stock that I had used earlier for making the roux is what I had preserved after boiling the chicken breast. I had already added salt when boiling the chicken breast, so let's season this with just about quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're going to add about quarter teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper and just a dash of freshly grated nutmeg. Now let's give this a mix. Now that the ingredients has mixed well together, let's take it off the heat and allow it to cool. To the croquets, we're going to add potato and I've already boiled 400 grams of potato. And now you can either mash it with a potato masher or a fork, but I prefer putting it through a ricer so that you get a smooth paste. And to that we're going to add two tablespoons of room temperature and salted butter. And we're going to add two egg yolks, so we're going to separate the egg white from the egg yolk. This is going to give a nice rich flavor to the chicken croquets. So we're going to keep the egg whites aside for later and we're going to add the egg yolks to our bowl. For a little bit of time we're going to go in with one tablespoon of lemon juice and I'm just going to eyeball it. We're going to keep this bowl aside and grate some cheese to make our chicken croquets a little bit more decadent. So now we're going to grate about half a cup of mozzarella cheese. This is an excellent make-ahead appetizer when you're entertaining family and friends. I think we got more than half a cup. Okay, let's add the grated mozzarella cheese to the bowl. And we're also going to go in with half a cup of cheddar cheese. If you put a little extra, nobody's looking. It's just going to make it even more delicious. I think that should be about half a cup. And now the cheddar cheese. For some herbs, you're going to go in with cilantro. Just going to chop up about two tablespoons. So we're going to put that tightly together. And now we're going to chop. You could add in any herbs that you have on hand, but I'm just adding in cilantro today. Let's mix this and bring it together. The chicken has now cooled down, so let's add it to the rest of the ingredients. We're just going to mix half of it first and then we'll add in the rest. Let's add in the rest. Now let's give it a good mix and bring it together. Look how 
colorful these croquets are going to look and I can guarantee you that they're going to be equally delicious too. We're going to brush on a little oil on the base of a baking dish. We're going to form our chicken croquets and put them in this. This mixture may sometimes have a tendency to stick so while forming the croquets we're just going to rub a little oil on the palms of our hand. Now we're going to take the scooped out mixture put it in the palm of our hands and now we're going to roll. Now you could make it any shape you wanted. You could make it into a log if you wanted. But I'm just going to go in with the rounds. And I will just roll, roll, roll and make it as round as we can. And there you go. Our first croquet is ready. And now we're going to place it in our baking dish. We're going to make a second one. You can make them as big or as small as you like. I'm just going for a medium size here. And there you have the second one. There you go. Our third croquet is ready. We're going to continue till we finish all the mixture. We've formed all our croquets. Let's cover it up with a plastic wrap and place it in the freezer to set up for about an hour. We've got our workstation all set up. We've got our chicken croquets which are firmed up and we've got one cup of breadcrumbs, one cup of all-purpose flour and the egg whites that we had saved earlier. We're just going to beat up the egg whites a little bit. So we're going to take one of the chicken croquets. So we're going to roll it into the all-purpose flour and putting it into the all-purpose flour helps to dry up the surface of the croquet in that way, the egg will stick on better. If you want, you can just shape it up again if it's got a little flat in the dish. So we're just going to roll it up a little bit so we get a rounder croquet. Now let's dip it into the egg white. And now we're going to lift it up. Let the excess egg white drain down and then dunk it into the breadcrumbs. Now once again, going in with our fingers, we're going to sprinkle some of the breadcrumbs on the top and get it coated on all sides with the breadcrumbs. And here our first croquet is all coated and ready to be fried. Now let's keep it in a tray while we do the rest. So once again we're going to roll this up in the all-purpose flour. Shape it up once again. Then dip it into the egg white. Make sure it's coated on all sides. And now we're going to shake off the excess egg white. And then toss it into the breadcrumbs. And we're going to sprinkle some of the breadcrumbs on the top so it becomes easier for us to roll it. And now we're just going to roll it in the breadcrumbs. And we're going to repeat this process till we coat all the croquets. We've coated all the chicken croquets, now let's go over to the stove and fry them. We've got the oil heating on a medium heat and to check whether the oil is hot enough, we're going to insert a bamboo skewer and when we see these bubbles coming rushing to the surface of the oil, we know it's hot enough and we're ready to go. I placed three of the croquets in a spider skimmer and I'm going to insert it to the hot oil. When deep frying, you don't want to overcrowd your pot because then the temperature of the oil will drop. The croquets will start absorbing the oil and will become soggy. We want the croquets to be nice and crispy on the outside. And now we're going to drain off the excess oil and put them into a colander to drain. You don't want to stir them around too much, but you occasionally flip them around. You could stop right here and serve these up. But since we're serving them up for Christmas, we're going to take them a notch higher. I've got some ketchup here. Just going to put a little bit of it on the top. Give it a little swerve. And I'm going to place a blistered tomato on the top. And if you want to know how to do that, I will leave the recipe in the description box below. And to keep it together, let's insert a bamboo cocktail skewer and finish it off with some cilantro. Oh my goodness, look at that. And now it's time to give our chicken croquets a taste. I'm gonna go in for this one that we've already cut. Mm. 
Don't these look like Christmas ornaments to you? And they're so delicious, you're gonna wanna make a double batch because you'll find them flying off your table. And if you want to enjoy them as much as I do, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.